So let's talk about some very useful commands for the data table. If I go back to my login action, one of the first commands you guys should probably know is how to get the row count of the data table. And that means that going from here to here, how do you know how many rows are filled with data? And this is an excellent thing to do because a lot of times you may not know how many rows of data you're gonna have. So you need to be able to do it dynamically. So, that command goes something like this. Pretty easy, right? So this will get, get us the row count. Next step would be to iterate through that row count and do something to those values. So that involves some kind of a for loop. Now, if you guys are not familiar with VBScript, have no fear. We have VBScript tutorials at our site. So go and check those out. They're meant to lay the foundation for you to be able to do all this. But it's kind of important that you know it. But for these purposes, you guys will be able to follow me no problem. Just don't worry about the for loop too much. So I'm going to grab this. Okay. So from the beginning to the row count, we are going to do some stuff. So this statement right here, it sets the current row. Okay, this is gonna set the current row and now we can get the values. And let's make this a bit easier. So this is what? This is going to be row one and does that make it clear for you guys? Okay, so I put that in there in the global data table. Now let's see what happens. I'm going to run up to here using F5 as a shortcut key. Blah, blah. Okay, it's going to stop there. Now let's check it out. 